right, so once you have your rings cut out, they should look something like this. Um, if you use the template and then trace and then just cut out your rings, um, they just have a kind of variety of sizes, some small, some medium, some large. And then you just want to kind of deck, um, do something to your rings, something like this. So I have this one, which has like the little folds. This one also has some folds here. Um, this one I just kind of cut out in like a, like a wavy pat, wavy design on the edge. This one I cut into the, into the circle. So I'll show a couple of those. This one I cut into the center. So you can see I cut out loops in the center to make it look like a flower. Um, you just want a variety of some different designs. So, you know, for something like this, you can just simply, there's no right or wrong for this. So, you know, they can all just be different and that's fine. You're going to stack them up together anyway at the end. Something like that. Okay. And if I want to cut into the center, I'm going to make a triangle. So I'm just going to do little triangles. And like I said, there's no right or wrong. So if there's some that are a little bit bigger, some that are smaller, it don't all have to be exactly the same. All right, so that's one way that you can do design is just um, by like simply cutting around the outside of the ring or cutting into the middle of the ring. Um, and that's what I did for this one too, where I just cut out like loops from the center. So these two were done with the same kind of cutting technique. Um, for making the flaps, I'll do it on this one. What you'd want to do is you want to make little cuts just about halfway through. You don't want to cut the whole thing. You get all the way to the end. Okay. And then you're just going to fold every other flap up. So now it has some three dimensional aspect to it. It's not just flat paper. Okay, and then you can just keep it as is. Another um, thing if you wanted to, you could cut off these little pieces here so you just have the ring. I'm just going to cut off every other one. So you can kind of change your design that way. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you could cut them all off, but um, that's one way to kind of do the little folds. If you cut triangles into it, you have a little, you have a triangular fold. So it just depends on how you're cutting into your, into your ring, but you can kind of see that three-dimensional fold on the edge there. Um, and that was similar to what I did for this one, where every other one is cut and folded. And this one I did like a triangle, so it kind of looks like a sun.
So I just cut, instead of cutting straight in, I cut at an angle. So it was uh, cut in kind of like a triangle. And then last but not least, you can cut in to the outside edge. And then you can also cut in to the inside edge. So I'm going to do a curved cut for my inside. I'm going to do a triangle for my outside. And you can, you know, vary the types of cutting that you do, how much paper you're going to cut away. So making triangle cuts into the outside edge, and then I'm just cutting into the inside, making little curved shapes. Right, and then I would just keep going on on the inside and the outside, and that would give you something that's kind of like this effect, like a snowflake almost. Um, so those are just three of the different ways that I was kind of thinking about manipulating the rings. Um, if you come up with other ways, that's great. There's really no right or wrong to this, as long as you're doing something to change just that straight edge that's on the outside of your ring, either folded, cut, um, just something to kind of bring it a little bit more in a little more interest to your design.